Hey everybody, it's Andrew back again with another video and tonight we have a very special unboxing. In my hands is the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro S, the Surface Pro 4 competitor that we've been waiting for and it's been finally released. Let's find out if it has what it takes to dethrone the Surface Pro 4 as the king of the two-in-ones. Let's see what's inside this box. I have my knife. Let's see what's inside this box. So as you know, I've been looking at a bunch of two ones lately and I've been very, very curious as to the latest offering from Samsung, which is the Galaxy Tab Pro S that everybody's been waiting for. I've been getting a lot of requests to unbox it. And finally, we have it in our studios and here it is. The Galaxy Tab Pro S from Samsung. This is a two-in-one device. So let's see what you get in the box. Okay, we get a Windows 10 Home, a 12-inch FHD Plus Super AMOLED display, and Samsung's known for their Super AMOLED displays. You get a sixth-generation Intel Core M processor, four gigabytes of RAM, 802.11 ABGN AC MIMO, NFC, 128 gigabyte SSD. So here we have it. Let's cut it open. Let's cut this side. Okay, and let's cut that side. And there it is. Now, as you can see here, here's the tablet. It's very light. Let's uh, take it out of its wrapping here. Okay, this looks good. And this is very thin and light. Now, reminiscent of the Galaxy Tab Pro Android version. And it also has a Super AMOLED display. On the back, you got the webcam there. You have a smooth finish. We have some branding NFC there. Energy Star Saver there. Pretty, pretty light, pretty, and very thin. On the bottom, you can see it has pogo pins. It's where you're going to connect the keyboard, and this does come with a keyboard. And on the other side, we have a volume rocker up and down. We have the, the power button, and on the side you have a side firing speaker right there, and you have a USB type C it looks like, and you have a microphone headphone jack right there. Moving around to the other side, we have a, another speaker on the side, and you have maybe it looks like the power button. Okay, let's put that to a side, let's see what else you get in the box. So this is probably the keyboard and pretty good packaging so far. And this is the keyboard. It has that, looks like that faux leather kind of feel or, and we'll see how well this will work. It's got a thin keyboard. Let's take out this, whatever's inside. And there's the keyboard. Keys feel pretty good. I think they might be backlit, I'm not sure, we'll find out. May or may not be. Seem pretty good travel, it's very thin, very light, I can tell you that right now. And looks like it might be something we can use. I don't know about viewable angles, we'll find out about all that very, very shortly. What else do we get in the box? We have the, looks like it's 12 volts output so we'll find out how fast this will charge it does say adaptive fast charging on it as you can see there so hopefully this charge is very fast I'm expecting that it will and here's the looks like it's a USB type C here it is USB type C we have some documentation okay we'll look through all this later we'll put that to the side and I think that's it. Okay, now that we have it on box, let's see how it looks with the tablet and the keyboard. And again, it feels pretty premium. It has a nice metal edge around the end, all right, around the rim. Snaps right onto the leather part and the keyboard snaps right into the keyboard case like that. And there it is. And there you can see, it looks like it has adjustable angles, I'm not sure. It seems to have only one angle. It's a nice look to me. I, I like the way this looks and feels so far. Uh, we'll definitely have to put it through its paces. As you can see here, this is it in the keyboard. Keyboard travel seems pretty good actually. Okay, the keyboard is pretty close together as far as keys are concerned. And 
the trackpad has some click to it. We'll test it all out. I was able to get this at Amazon for $8.99, and I'm an Amazon Prime member, as you know, so I got it within two days. It arrived, I ordered it on Friday, got it on Monday. So very quick service. I'll put the link below to where you can purchase this. Now, let's see if it has any juice in it, and let's power it up and see if it has anything. Now, as it's booting up here for the first time, here you see we have the first screen to Windows 10. And I can tell you right now, this screen looks absolutely vibrant and gorgeous. It's a super AMOLED display, so I'm expecting inky blacks, deep blacks, and I'm expecting very vibrant color out of this. Now, as far as the touchscreen, it looks pretty good so far. The next. And so far, so good. Let me accept the EULA and I will put in my password. Hold on one second. So as it's connecting to the internet. Now, one thing I'm noticing so far, since uh, I've gone through the ports real quick, it does have that one USB type C where you're charging, but I don't see too many other ports. In fact, that might be the only port. So could be a potential problem, I don't know. In terms of testing, we'll have to see exactly how this will all fit in. So far, I'm loving the screen. Keyboard included in the box at the $8.99 price. I don't know if it's backlit. We'll have to find out uh, once I do some testing. I'm not sure if it is. Right now, it's getting some critical updates. One thing I do want to find out is if what kind of technology that uh, as far as the screen is using, as far as pen. I know it has a separate pen you can buy, uh, Bluetooth enabled. I wasn't able to get it as of yet. I don't know if it's Wacom technology. I don't know if it's Entrick technology. So we're going to have to find all this out. So here I have the Dell Active Pen. I'm not sure if it's going to work with, with the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro S. Well, let's find out. This uses, uh, the Dell XPS Active Pen is a Wacom or Wacom technology. And let's see if it works on this doesn't look like it works. So there's a different kind of di digitizer on this. I'm not sure if it's Entrick or not. We'll find out uh, as soon as we dig more into this. Let me put in my password, I'll be right back. Now, as you can see, this is a very, very vibrant screen. It really, really is eye-popping. I'm really very impressed. Now, as far as the resolution, I think it's 2160 by 1440. So it's a Quad HD screen. It also has, according to the specs here, Windows 10. Here we are, let's check out some of the specs that it has. It has, it has four gigabytes of RAM. It has the Intel Core M3 processor. It's running at, I believe, anywhere from 1 gigahertz to 1.51 gigahertz, if I'm not mistaken. It has touch support. It has, I believe it has pen support. I got to find out what's the deal on the pen, the S Pen or whatever they're going to call it. We'll find out what technology it will use. I don't have one yet. I will try to get one as soon as possible. But I can tell you right now, this 12-inch screen is absolutely amazing. Let's take a look. Uh, and now it's running Windows. Windows 10 Home. So it's running Windows 10 Home, four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabyte SSD. Let's see which type of SSD. Now, according to this, it says light on CV1 8B128. So I don't know how good the lights on, light on SSDs are. We're gonna do full testing on this. We'll get all the benchmarks in our full review. We'll do the Geekbench test. We'll do the Crystal Disk Mark test. We'll do all the necessary testing for this. Battery, screen, sound, Everything we, we usually test on our devices here at AMD Tech. As you can see, it's in its keyboard case. It's got only one viewing angle. So it's much like the Dell XPS 12 in its keyboard dock. This is a lot lighter though. It's a very thin keyboard. I don't think it's backlit. I didn't see anything to indicate that it is. So this might not be backlit. A big negative I found on the uh, Lenovo Mix 700, where I was very disappointed without the backlit keyboard. I'm hoping this is not the case with this, but it doesn't look like it does have a backlight uh, on the keyboard. Now, the trackpad is kind of small, but you know we'll give it a test. We'll do a full test of the keyboard and the trackpad, obviously. And I got to say, this screen does look absolutely gorgeous. Let's just get to look at the resolution here. Let's go to display settings right there and let's go for the display settings 
and I turned off the auto brightness and advanced display settings. It's a 2160 by 1440 resolution. So let's uh, take a look at it, see, fold it up. And it's very thin and very light. I gotta tell you, this is beautiful construction. I really like the fact that it's this thin and this light. It really is a very compact form factor and I am liking it so far. Loving the screen, okay? So far I'm loving the screen. So there it is. Please hit the comment section and let me know what you'd like me to do as far as testing with this device is concerned. Let me know if you have any questions about this device. I'll do my best to answer it. Again, we just, again, we just got this in the studio. We're going to run it through its full test. We're going to run full test on this. We're going to see exactly what this thing is made of and how it compares to the other two-in-ones, especially the Surface Pro 4. So we're going to test this device. We're going to put it through its paces and do full testing on this. We're going to do the benchmarks and everything we do, screen, sound battery life, you name it, we're gonna test it on this. So stay tuned for that full review on its way, ladies and gentlemen. So please hit up the comment section. Let me know exactly what you want me to test with this device. I will try to make that happen. So stay tuned for that. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. <music>